Right, let's have a look at the Mini Simon Hope uh, texturing tool. I really like this for smaller items like boxes and spinning tops. Um, it has a bearing inside, makes it run very freely, and the wheels are hardened, uh, so you never have to sharpen them. It's very easy uh, to interchange the wheels. Tighten down. Lock it in position. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do two patterns on this surface with the large wheel. I'll remove that, show you two patterns with the uh, smaller wheel to show you how easy it is to chain the end and do pattern, two patterns on that and then do some random patterns uh, with both of the wheels just to give you some more information. Small diameter, a little faster speed, a thousand revolutions. So let's see if we can do the, let's do the flower. So vertical, press against the shoulder. And we can do this here as well. And then the running texture. Yeah, and some not, sometimes it's really nice to highlight these with a little bit of color. So just a bit of felt pen. So let's turn that around and change the wheel. So I remove this. So to change the wheel, undo the Allen key. Remove the head, which now won't we'll undo. Lock down the Allen key. Again, about a thousand revolutions. A little bit of clearance so the wheel doesn't foul on the tool rest. Vertical to the surface again, press. We'll make a nice little stipple, the same here. These patterns will be subtly different, purely because they are um, faster in the peripheral speed. And then turn the tool at 45 degrees and this will be very, very fine pattern. Very subtle as patterns go. 
Then you can be a little bit more adventurous with some of these tools. So I'm just going to make a few shapes in the piece of wood, so a V-cut, a cove, and a large cove. Speed back down to 500 revolutions, 500 to, sorry not 500 revolutions, 1000 revolutions. Smaller diameter, small tool. Tool up 45 degrees and press. So you get a nice herringbone effect on that surface. Now I'm going to turn it over. The next 40, other, other side, 45 degrees. There's quite a lot of pressure against that surface to make this this tool has got a little flat spot on the end so it makes a little incision into the timber. Change the tip. And then we can have a look at taking the wheel vertical into the bottom of the V-cut. Thousand revolutions. Press forward. And quite a lot of body pressure. So what I did there is press forward. I turn the tool a little bit to the right, a little bit to the left. There's a nice little cog inside the piece of wood. Uh, and that's because it's a V. Yeah, and then in the U shape, using the same movement inside a cove gives you a different pattern. So you're going to go into the bottom. You pressurize with the wheel vertical. Press in. Move it over a little bit more. And because it's concaved as a shape, it gives you a more um, rounded shape in your design. Which I really like this one. Well, I really like the tool because it has the bearing, it has a hardened tip. I never have to worry about it. It's very, very easy to change the tips. Um, uh, and this is only just scratching the surface of what's possible.